Good morning and welcome back to The Knit Guru. This is my everything I knit and crochet in the month of June video. Probably we'll hear from Rocky very shortly. We'll probably hear from the roosters because that's what we do in the mornings, that's for sure. Um, it is a lovely morning, even if this clouds are belying what's going on. What have I started with? If you watch my everything I knit and crochet in May video, you would know that I had plans. I can't say that I kept too many of those plans because, well, there were baby announcements and um, and babies being born. And yes, there we go. There we are. Hello. Hello. Yes, you're a very good boy. Now go away. Um, first of all, other than Rocky deciding that, yes, I need dirty feet on me in the morning. This emperor penguin. Um, this is for the brother-in-law because he used to work in Antarctica quite frequently, but now he's one of the ones who's expecting a baby. Um, asked for a penguin, so I made this emperor penguin. Am I happy with it? I'm happy with everything except for this beak. Um, it's one of those ones that I don't think scales so well with plush yarn, but he's turned out big, he's turned out snugly, um, and that's kind of cool. Um, the pattern was for one that was hatching an egg, but I didn't do the egg hatching part because I did not think that was going to translate to the plush yarn at all. So this was completed, and this is the only project that I've actually completed from beginning to end. Please note, it's all completely done. It has not been sent to him for his birthday yet, which was last, last week? week before last anyway what else have i been working on i have been working on this cow this was on the list of things to get done uh, because i knew it was coming up it started at the beginning of june what i have is all of this there are parts of this cow that have been great it's supposed to be a reversible sea creature there's some fins for one of the characters which is called juju and then there's gumdrop now it looks like Gumdrop is an axolotl and Juju is a whale shark. So uh, I was turning it inside out because you're supposed to turn it inside out from the mouth. And what I didn't like about it was that it was starting to shed this Hobie honey bunny uh, candy yarn. So what I did was I um, cut it in half. I just cut it. So this part will be Gumdrop. And this part will be Juju the whale shark. And what I've got to do is to shape the mouth and work out how to stuff it. But there's plenty of bits coming out from where it was cut in half. Now, there are some things that are very cool about the pattern. Um, I quite like how the little leggies shape to be for the left and right. Um, I really am in awe of the eyes. Like, these eyes are magnificent. The bits that I didn't enjoy doing, which took me half my life, were the axolotl head fins with this tiny crochet bit around there. Oh, this was a nightmare. Anyway, so there's that. This still has another week to go. So on Thursday, I think it's Thursday over here, part five will be released and that will be all the pieces. I am definitely behind. I'm working on part four, but I've only started part four. So the first part of part four are these three big fins. Um, so we'll see how part four goes. <sighs> part three took me a lot longer than it should have and I haven't done the face shaping because I figure I will do the face shaping last yeah um, I'll do the face shaping last because it'll just be easier that way um, there's a lot of stuff going on so in the category of things I have finished but haven't finished but I have finished but I haven't finished oh no I did finish these I did finish this pair of striped baby booties oh look bits of gumdrop from the hobby, hobby, hobby yarn. Um, I have this pair of baby booties, which is very cute. Um, is it worth having the stripes? The stripes are cute, but they were mind-numbing when it came to sewing in the, the ends. Then I have finished, but not darned in the ends or added the buttons or blocked, this uh, anchor's jacket. 
I think it's called from Petite Knit. This is in a double knit baby merino, which is absolutely stunning and beautiful. It does need blocking because I think that this section here does pull. Uh, it's on a smaller needle than the bit down the side. So it does need blocking, but it's winter, so I'm hesitant to block it. It's also a baby jacket, so I'm really, really hesitant to block a baby jacket because I don't know what um, washing liquid the, the parents are using. So I don't want to get the wrong one, if that makes sense. So I'm more tempted to just sew it up and give it with the instructions to wash and stretch yourself if you, if you so desire. But when I put the buttons on, it will look fine, I reckon. Yeah, so this one's in mustard. I will now make a second one in a green shade to match these baby booties. But this one's done, it will just be an entire evening of darning and ends until the end of time, by the looks of things. So there's that, the anchor's jacket from Petite Knit. Now the next thing that I've been working on, well this one I think I started first. So this is my, I'm in the car as a passenger sock project. I always seem to have one. This is a <laughs> rainbow glittery sock. So perfect in it for Pride Month. And I have done the heel turn on the second sock. So this one should be finished by the month of July, just with traveling around in the car. Um, so that one's ongoing and that's on 2.75 millimeter needles they're the needles i've had for the longest i think that have kept going then i've been making this pair of socks and writing down the pattern as i go and testing it on sock two so sock one has got these um slip strip slip stitch stripes these are man socks so they take a bit of time the yarn is from hobie now this yarn is double knit which is quite nice but it is a sock knit so i finished sock one and I'm working on sock two. And these are the ones where I'm testing the Addy Crazy Trio shorties. So these will be finished in July as well. Um, but this one's on not so much the back burner, but I'm not worried about finishing these before September. Then, because spur of the moment, you see a test knit and you're like, I want in on that test knit, so you apply. And I did get accepted to this test knit and then realised, hmm, uh, I have a bit going on this month. We'll see how we go. But this is from Pacific Knit Co. These are the Cactus Doodle socks. So what you get is a whole stack of these patterns and you just put them together in the order that you want. So I've got this sort of patterny thing here. There's this cactus pattern here, this little arrowy pattern here. Um, this one still needs the duplicate stitch put in, but there's the scorpion needs the tops of his tail. But that is scorpion. Um, so I've done that much of sock one and this much of sock two. So I'm up to the cactuses on sock two. This one needs to be finished by the 10th. I think it is, but I'll try and get this one finished in the first weekend of July, and then that will be good and done and, and dusted, test knit, sorted. I do have plans for more of the Pacific Knit Co. socks because my partner and my father-in-law and my stepson, um, the stepson has a birthday in September, so the cactus socks with scorpions, that's going to be for him. Then I've got the farm doodles and the autumn doodle pack. And I'm going to put together socks for my partner and my father-in-law for Father's Day because in New Zealand Father's Day is in September. I don't know which one, either Mother's Day or Father's Day. One of them is at the opposite end of the year when you're in this hemisphere and the other one's not. What else do I need to do in July? I have to knit a giant blanket for an adult. Now, this is someone that I knitted a baby blanket for and then I purchased the yarn to make a big blanket for her but I haven't actually started the blanket. I did just pick up some more needles now that I've decided what size needles I'm going to be knitting it on. It does need to be double stranded. Um, so the big blanket and the cactus socks are incredibly urgent on my list for July as well as finishing the underwater tails Hobie projectarian cow. That's the other thing that's on the agenda is is doing those if i can get those two done 
um, you know, those, those three. The sock, the cowl, and the blanket. Those are my big three for July. If I can get started on um, more man socks, if I can finish the green socks, and the baby cardigan, the second baby cardigan. I'd like to get the second baby cardigan done in two weeks. And a blanket. Oh, who knows? Anyway, let's just focus on the fact that this penguin is finished. And at least one of my chickens is currently laying an egg. <laughs> All right. I will catch you at the start of next week. <laughs> See you later. Bye.